New York Times just reporting that the Manhattan District Attorney's criminal tax probe into Alan Weisselberg, the longtime chief financial officer of the Trump Org, appears to be in its final stages. An indictment would mark the first criminal charges related to the financial fraud investigation into Trump and the Trump Organization. This is a huge make or break moment. In fact, we are on the brink of right now two make or break decisions. First of all, prosecutors are going to need to sit down, assess all their evidence and decide, do we have enough evidence to indict Alan Weisselberg? If so, then the big decision is, does Alan Weisselberg flip? And make no mistake, whether he flips is going to mean everything for this investigation. He is the exact right person to target to try to flip. He is in the inner circle. He is the only person not named Trump who's in the inner circle of the Trump org. If they flip him, he can open up the whole universe of evidence. That's going to be a huge moment. In other words, it is crunch time for the Manhattan District Attorney. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. For several months, prosecutors working for Manhattan DA Cyrus Vance have been trying to pressure Alan Weisselberg to cooperate with their investigation into Donald Trump. According to multiple reports, prosecutors suspect that Trump and his organization engaged in bank fraud by inflating property values to obtain loans and tax fraud by lowering assets to decrease tax exposure. By all accounts, Alan Weisselberg, the trusted Trump chief financial officer, would be a star witness against the former president. But for now, Weisselberg appears to have rebuffed the Manhattan DA and is still working for the Trump organization. So the Manhattan DA's grand jury recently heard testimony from Weisselberg's top lieutenant, Jeffrey McConney. According to legal sources familiar with the investigation, prosecutors have obtained records from Mercedes-Benz cars leased to Mr. Weisselberg, his wife, and other family members. Furthermore, the legal sources say Weisselberg's former daughter-in-law, Jennifer, has met with prosecutors repeatedly and told them about gifts that she and her former husband received, including tuition payments and a luxury apartment. It suggests that prosecutors are looking to make a tax fraud case against Alan Weisselberg. If the evidence establishes that the Trump Organization, through him, paid for various gifts to Weisselberg family members who worked for Trump, that would be considered income. And if that income was not reported to the IRS, Weisselberg could face fraud charges. However, under New York state law, tax charges can be as low as a misdemeanor or as serious as a felony punishable by seven years in jail. Prosecutors know full well that reluctant witnesses do not flip if they are facing only a misdemeanor, so the pressure is on the Manhattan DA to bring compelling evidence to the grand jury for a felony indictment. Furthermore, in order to get Weisselberg to flip, prosecutors would need to convince Trump CFO the evidence is so strong that a conviction at trial is all but certain. And even then, Weisselberg could refuse to budge. Depends on loyalty. Who is Alan Weisselberg loyal to? Is he loyal enough to the Trump org to take a risk if he's charged at possibly going to jail? Or is he going to do whatever he has to do to try to save himself? The Trump organization maintains that Weisselberg, Trump, and others have done nothing wrong and that all of this is a partisan witch hunt. Still, there is every indication the investigation has reached a critical stage for Alan Weisselberg, for Donald Trump, and for the Manhattan District Attorney.